Hi, this is Shelly Hitz from FindYourTrueBeauty.com. And lately, I've been thinking about the lies that we believe. Now, you might say, lies? Shelly, I'm not believing any lies. And yet, there's all these voices in our head every day. Some of them are from ourselves. Some of them are from Satan, our enemy. And some of them are from Jesus, from God. And so we have these different voices in our head. And the Bible says Satan is a liar. That's the only thing he knows to do. He's a deceiver. And so when he speaks to us in our minds, it's through lies. And a lot of the lies that we'll believe is, I'm not pretty. I'm fat. I don't look good today. I'm not as good as her. She's better at this than me. On and on and on. And the other day, I was doing a talk for a women's retreat and I did a breakout session for teen girls and it was fun I enjoyed it I got to pray with someone afterwards and could connect with some of the girls and you know I just I, I love connecting with teen girls and with women and so it was such a great time I was I was on a panel and, and several other women um, presented with me but they took a picture of me and they posted it on Facebook now I don't know if it was the angle the picture was taken or if it was truly you know the way that I was looking but when I looked at that picture I'm not an overweight person at all most people would say Shelly you're too thin <laughs> but when I looked at that picture all I could see was these big thighs It was like oh man you've gained weight or wow how did you get those big thighs and and I was just focusing in on these you know the way I looked and wanting to crop that out of the picture <laughs> and it was a lie planted in my mind from Satan you know you're not perfect you don't look good enough you're not beautiful because in that picture looks like you have big thighs <laughs> and you know we have these lies that bombard us all the time and and we have to be on our guard the Bible says that that Christ gives us an armor now when you go into battle you know you have weapons, you have armor, you have different things. Now, our army these days doesn't use official armor. But in the time of the Bible, they had actual armor that they would wear. And one of the pieces of the armor, I encourage you to read Ephesians 6. One of the pieces of the armor is a belt of truth. And this belt of truth is God's truth, his word, the Bible, and the truth that he says about us. And his truth is that you know it, it nothing can separate us from his love we don't have to earn it we don't have to look a certain way we don't have to be a certain way nothing separates us from his love it says that in romans and so the truth is that we are accepted we are approved of by christ and our identity is in christ our identity is not in the way we look and so i've had to work on uprooting that lie and replacing it with God's truth. Sometimes I'll do that by writing out a note card and I'll write out the, the truth on the note card. I'll take it from scripture and reword it and then I'll carry it around with me and I'll take it out and I'll reread it. Every time I start thinking those lies and feeling insecure or feeling fearful or, or whatever it is, I'll bring it out and I'll remind myself. And sometimes I've had to do that over and over like several times, even an hour, <laughs> like all day I'm taking that out and re, um, I'm transforming my mind. I'm renewing my mind with God's truth. So I want to ask you today, what lies are you believing and how can you replace that with God's truth? This is Shelly from FindYourTrueBeauty.com.